Hello everyone, welcome to Under Time with the Enthusiastic Tutor. In today's video, we'll be talking about curl structure, curl versus electives. In this video, you'll learn what curl courses are and what electives are. Amazing things you do not know about curl courses and electives. With this being said, let's hop right into it. <music> So we have our outline, caucuses. What are caucuses? Implications of caucuses? What you do not know about caucuses? How to make the best out of caucuses? Now, what are caucuses? Caucuses are courses that are your majors. In every discipline, there are majors and there are sub majors now what do i mean by majors your core courses majors these are words interchangeably used core courses are courses that has direct impact on your discipline your discipline in the sense that what you are studying in school your program your program could be could be a student of law could be a student of english for example for a student of English or let me use let me cite an example with a student um a student of public administration some of your core courses will be part four one like part two or three and then public administration courses you know, you know we have electives like in your first year hundred level you have electives like MTH as mathematics you have electives like communication skill your core courses most time are not usually started with in your under level you begin to major in your core courses when you get to when you step up in your program okay, but in your under level doesn't mean that you don't have core courses no that's not what i'm saying now your core courses are denoted with the sign c then the place of your registration you must have come across while so trying to register for your courses courses showing unit points which are higher compared to your electives one of the ways you recognize your core courses is by the credit units most time credit units for core courses are higher you can have four you can have three i think the minimum might be two but in some cases, you can have three, you can have two, you can even have four. It's usually written in your student dashboard, on your student dashboard or on your student portal. Your courses that are major are usually written, they are denoted by the word C, by the alphabet C, your core courses. So the implication of core courses. Now, speaking of the implication of your core courses, the core courses has direct implication on your credit unit it also have direct implication on your overall performance now what do i mean direct implication your core courses are courses that are high in credit units your core courses are courses that requires more attention your core courses are courses that will boost or mar your performance for the semester let's take for example the core courses are courses that definitely have direct impact on your performance for the semester now indirectly or directly your core courses has major influence on your performance for the semester so now what are the things you don't know about your core courses now one thing you don't know about your core courses is that for example if you have an elective and a core course you wrote board exam and you find out that you did more in your elective for example or an elective of about two units by an elective of about three units and um uh, and um, a core course of about three units if you have a a in um the elective of about three units and if you have a a b in a in your in the in the core course you know the effect of having a a in an elective is little or minimal compared to 
the effect of having a A in your major course on your core course. What am I saying in essence? What I mean in essence is that it is better for you to have higher score, like higher grade points in your core courses compared to your electives. Because when you have higher score in your core courses or your, in your core course, it boosts your GP. It helps, it enhances, it pushes your GP and makes you performance for the semester better compared to having higher score in your elective. And also, what? how do you make the best out of your core courses? What I, my advice to students is that you make the best out of your core courses by giving it all you have, all you got, meaning you focus more. I'm not saying you, you fail, you should fail your electives. What I'm saying in essence is that your core courses are courses that count. They are the courses that matters in your overall performance. So put in the effort, put in all you got to ensure that you do well in your core courses. Summary of what your core courses are, your course of core courses, you should also know that you should always remember that your core courses have a direct impact on your overall performance for the semester and for the year and overall performance on your program. Major in your core courses, do not major in the minors. With this being said, let's go to the next phase. electives now in our electives what are the electives what are your elect electives are courses that are important as well they are not to be written off they are all they are important they serve most they serve as aid to your major courses you know electives are good as well i, I mean if you do well in your electives too it's directly affect positively it directly tells on your performance as well your your electives are there to cushion your major courses yeah your electives are also important but not as important as your core courses now the implication of your electives now implication of your elective is minimal compared to the core course your core courses now just like i said earlier on your core courses has a direct implication on your performance on your gp on your grade points um in my previous tutorial i had um i did a video about how you can calculate your cgp so yeah your cgp and your your cagp i mean and your gpa you know your core courses has direct impact on your cgpa it has direct impact on your gpa unlike the electives you know your electives you might even choose not to you know in some semesters you might just choose not to pick electives but you can't do that in the case of your core courses and moreover i advise them a lot to pick as many electives as they can because your electives is there to is like a bonus let me, let me use the word bonus just like to enhance you have but in, in cases whereby you did not really do well in your core courses your electives can push you up a bit but you can imagine in case whereby you did not even choose any electives and in your majors you didn't do so well it would not be a good one so even as you are working hard to do well in your elective in your major courses like in your core courses you should also do well to perform well in your electives as all this put together enhances your performance for the semester so implications has been discussed so we have what do you what you do not know what you do not know about your elect okay now your electives are also important as i mentioned earlier you know um, they are there to cushion your major courses they are there to aid you know the school authority uh, added them to the syllabus you know to for reasons and um, i believe one of the reasons is to enhance your performance too as well as they are there to support and to aid your gp you know your uh, your grade points yeah so your electives are also important you should also do well to pick them please do not write off your elective in every semester you should at least try to pick more of your electives because over the year 
doing your program it will count definitely it will count because all these things all these courses are great they fetch you grades but the, the side effect of you not doing well in your elective is that if you do not do well in your elective it will affect your grade point so it is better you do well in the electives uh, because if you do well in your core courses and probably you didn't do so well in, but when i said you didn't do well maybe you have a, you have a d or a e in your elective it will affect your chief your gp definitely your grade point definitely so you should strive to do well in your electives if you know you might not be able to do well in an elective uh, i would suggest you don't pick it but i will strongly suggest if you know that the elective you're picking you can at least have a c or a minimum of a b uh, a b yeah uh, in the elective i would strongly suggest you pick a because it will cushion it will aid your your gp and um one thing again you should know about your elective is that to register an elective is not as expensive as the major course you know the major courses are more expensive to register as it requires more effort and more time and and other things to ensure you pass them very well like your major courses you should be having nothing less than a b or in worst case scenario a c in your major courses and um which is which is very important now how to make the best out of the elective now making the best out of the elective you have to put in the effort as well your elective is not in your elective i mean you do you don't want to have a poor grade in your elective because definitely it will tell on your group on your grade point definitely so it's what you should make out of the, be the best thing you should make out of it is have good grades in your elective and as well in your core course i believe um with all this being said i believe we have learned a thing or two about our elective and our core course um with this being said so let's just go let's move to the next um about our major course and the elective we should also know that the combination of these two will make us have good will enhance our grade point you know uh, enhance our grade point and overall score as all this put together is what will give um a good cgpa at the end of it all so um you definitely have to put in the work and the energy required and the attention that we can do well in both our elective and in our core courses thank you very much for sticking around thank you very much for watching this video if you are yet to subscribe to the channel please do hit the subscribe button like comment and share as this will support and encourage to make more informative videos as this thank you very much and i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial bye